So today we've got a pit on a uh, northwest facing slope at about 2,000 meters, so a little higher than last week. There have been two, three snowfalls since uh, the last pit I did, so I want to see how the snow had evolved. And again, we've got uh, 20 centimeter marks, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 80. Well, it's a 150 pole, so we've got 140 of snow depth here. And if we look down, Thermometer's just come out of my rucksack, so it's reading a bit above, but uh, we're typical down around about zero degrees at ground level. It can't be at one point two or the snow would be would be melting. So there are two things that are interesting. Um put the thermometer are a bit higher up now. Uh, this is compact snow, you can stick a finger in there, and then here at about 30 centimetres above ground level, we've got quite a thick crust. And then again, fairly dense snow, you can get a few things in. And here we're at uh, 20, 40, 60, 70. There's another crust, a bit thinner this one. So temperature seems fairly even in snow. Right, we'll come up here now, see what, what it is across this crust. And then here, it's uh, loose snow. So it'll be interesting. Uh, to see there's nothing, see how well the uh, snow is bonded to that, if you like that term, to that crust. And you see we've, uh, temperature's come down, so we've gone from, we've got about three degrees of temperature gradient over the 70 centimetres, ah no, ah, no glitch. And then up around the surface, surface temperature, going to settle down where well, it's cold up at the surface so there minus by 7.6 is that it 7.7 no yeah that's about it now so around about minus 8 here so we've got about 9 degrees of difference although the bulk of it the bulk of the difference is in the surface layer. So again, we could get some uh, surface fasting. And indeed, if you look at the if you look at the surface here, there's a little uh, hoar on it. It's going to snow tomorrow. So this is something to watch out for. This is a weak layer. This surface hoar here. It's just formed probably because of the probably because of the anti. If you look at the uh, fantastic anticyclonic conditions, it's very very cold at night. The snow can radiate. It's a black box. It can radiate a huge amount of energy. And uh, that gives a very strong temperature gradient on the surface, which forms this uh, surface hole here. And again, uh, I'd watch out on uh, Saturday over the weekend on north facing slopes this time. Also, again, watch those winds that caught people out last week. So here, just on the surface, you can see there's a slight difference here. This is probably the snow from Friday, or maybe some windblown snow, and you see it's not so there's a, definitely a risk at some surface slabs here about five centimeters nothing to worry about and again I don't think anything is going to move under this crust but uh, what about this block here yeah it's not uh, again three it's um, I'm a bit suspicious about uh, the snow on top of this crust. How uh, kind of depth are we there? 20, 40, new 50 centimetres. So it's probably not too sensitive, but uh, you know, that could be quite a big slab, 50 centimetre slab there. So you've got a surface slab. Maybe the surface slab, if it's a bit deeper, could bring, could take, uh, could take the snow underneath. So yeah, these north faces, Especially with some new load over the weekend, uh, I would say it's worth uh, taking care.